What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CFD back again with another reaction banger, man. Today's reaction, man. You know, I'm, it's today's reaction, man. You can see by the title and the thumbnail, niggas stuttering and shit. I don't know what the fuck going on, man. But we got the big Warriors trade. It's coming, you know what I'm saying? We just smoked on that Warriors pack, man. If you haven't seen that last reaction, make sure you go check that out, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really thought Steph Curry was going to beat Brown, bro. And he, you know what I'm saying? He ain't have no fucking KD, nigga. Come on, bro. Like, we been said this, bro. Like, niggas just want to look the other way. But it's cool, though. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bron go pre uh, prove the haters wrong. And we get, he getting that fifth chip this year. That's a fact, bro. Nuggets. Bro, we in the finals, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And nobody in the East right now really fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, bro. Like, it's already just give him the ring already. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who who y'all want to see. Let me know down in the comments. Lakers versus uh Heat or like a repeat of that 2020 seed, uh like you know what I'm saying finals or the Celtics. I low key want to see Celtics versus the Celtics game, Celtics versus Lakers just because you know what I'm saying of the you know history there. You know what I'm saying I don't know, but I, I could just see the NBA trying to make that happen for some reason. But that's not what you know what I'm saying. That's not what we're here for, man. You know what I'm saying we we here for Alex Hoops. The trade is coming, bro. Hey, man, I think the Warriors dynasty is over. I don't think so, man, you know what I'm saying? This nigga Curry, bro, you should never count this nigga out, man. That's what I learned after that Sacks game, you know what I'm saying? That game seven in uh, Sacramento. Oh, man, nigga, I, I'm thinking they, it was, was it an away game? I don't remember. Over? 50, no. bro. Hey, man, if you haven't subscribed, all... hey, man, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, get this boy to 600 subs, man, you know what I'm saying? Your boy birthday coming up and shit, so you can do me a favor, you know what I'm saying? The birthday present, you can hit that subscribe button for me real quick, man, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, my dog. The Warriors, the dynasty is alive, but there are questions with almost every other guy on that roster. Dubs fans love their players, but once you see the mess they're in, you realize they have no choice but to trade one or two key oh, players. The that's problem what I'm saying. is money. Up until now, the controlling owner, Joe Lacob, paid whatever it took. This year's team is the most expensive ever at about $350 million. That broke last year's record when they cost $346 million. God if damn. they bring back everyone, it could approach $500 million. million dollars. Half God. a billion for a team that won 44 games. Oh, oh but wow. the Warriors make so much money, who cares? Well, a Yeah, but that's the thing though, who y'all think go get traded and who y'all think gonna be back? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't see Draymond Green. Like, for some reason, I feel like Draymond Green went out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they look, I look, he feel like he feel kind of uh, betrayed by, you know what I'm saying, the organization, how they, how they paid Jordan Poole before him type shit. But... But then again, I feel like Draymond low key don't deserve like a contract like that though. You know what I'm saying? He's loyal and whatnot, and whatnot, but it's like, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he like, I don't think he deserves the max that he's asking for. That's just me though. You know what I'm saying? But then you got Paul, nigga been playing trash if it's late. But I, I say give him one more year and see how he prog he progresses, and after that make a decision. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like they should bring him back. They should bring back, man, you know, Clay gonna be Clay, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Clay just had a bad series. That's just what it is, man. Clay, come on, that's the splash, bro. You can't get rid of Clay Thompson. That's a fact. I know for a fact they're not getting rid of Clay Thompson. Apparently, the owner does. He told the media numbers like 400 to 500 million are not even remotely possible. I'm already in trouble with the rest of the league. We kind of blew a hold in the system, and it's not a good look. Uh, yeah, oh, because the league got together and said, enough of this. We have to crush the Warriors dynasty. The new CBA says, if you get too expensive, good luck building in the offseason. But first, today's video is sponsored by Prize Picks. Hey, man. And the first sign bonus. They can't you know trade they promo, multiple boy. contracts for one good player. They can't sign buyout guys. No mid-level exception. But listen to this. The Warriors get sent to the back of the draft no matter what. Like mm. two years ago when they got injured but picked James Wiseman at number two. Not okay. anymore. They would be pick 30 no matter what their record is. So the oh, owner actually shit. got lucky. Now he can say, well, yeah, I wanted to pay you so guys the, 500. So the war, basically what he's saying is, you know what I'm saying, the Warriors are not going to have a top 10 pick in you know what I'm saying? Not quite some time, bro. Which is... You know what I'm saying? As you want to continue to build, you know what I'm saying? You need, like, new... How do I say this? Uh, 
nigga, you know what I'm saying? New fresh legs, nigga, on the team and shit like that, nigga. Kaminga, I don't know about Kaminga, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they should keep Kaminga. They should keep Pool. And I think they should keep... Bro, who else? Who else? I ain't gonna lie. Everybody else looking kind of tradable, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Defense Chancellor, they got to bring back Defense Chancellor, too. I ain't gonna lie. Millions, but like, the NBA won't let me. So to get if I was them, that's what I'll bring down, back, you know what I'm saying? Somebody has Moody could go, go, though. Fans will immediately say, trade Jordan Poole. But it's not that simple. That's what Jordan I'm saying. Jordan just Poole. signed a $124 million contract. Damn, that and fat teams contract. aren't lining up to get him, but another player is on the market. Draymond Green can opt out of next year and become a free agent. Teams will want Draymond for his defense and his playmaking, his what? championship experience. He is key to Steph Curry's game, but he has caused problems for years. Kevin Durant had no issue leaving Golden State because Draymond said, we don't need you. Training camp was toxic because oh, he punched shit. Jordan Poole. Damn. He probably lost in 2016 Yo, because Dre was suspended for kicking LeBron. On, and they just got lucky beating Sacramento after he got suspended again. After the Lakers lost. Nah, but Draymond is that type of guy, though, you know what I'm saying? That you would hate to play against, but you love him on your team, though, you know what I'm saying? Because he's going to do all the... He gonna he gonna try to he, he goes for all the 50 50 balls. He tries very hard on defense, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? He, he one of those guys that, bro, if he has zero points, he doesn't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Because there's there be people out here, but even though y'all win... They don't score what they feel like they should have scored. It's like some animosity towards, you know what I'm saying, other teammates and shit like that, which is not good, you know what I'm saying? But Draymond, bro, I'm not going to lie. If he wants to come to the Lakers, bro, by any means possible, my nigga, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? We're going to sign you, my guy. Draymond did say he wants to But I don't know about that crazy. Life, uh, but he also leaked to the media. Draymond wants and believes he deserves a maximum contract extension from the Warriors of four years in length. Dre has already taken a pay cut in back-to-back -back contracts. Maybe he saw how they maxed out Clay after he tore his ACL. Why would they pay Clay for past performance and not me? But things have changed since he leaked that report. Dre was dying to sign with the Lakers, but now they're set. So I fully guarantee Draymond to come back on a team-friendly contract. But Clay Thompson is a different story. Unlike Draymond, mm. Clay isn't close to the same player. We all love Clay as a dude, but yeah. he's not even a good defender anymore. Yes, he led the NBA in threes this year, but his postseason was a nightmare. Look at Steve Kerr's reaction to this Clay shot attempt. What are you doing? And can you believe Clay? <laughs> Expects to be rewarded. Hey man, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? All your fans, how y'all feel about this? Let me know down in the comments. I think it, you know what I'm saying? It should be Clay, Dre, or uh, Paul that should get traded. Sheesh, bro. I know Clay not gonna get traded, bro. I know that for a fact, though. Because you can't, you can't get rid of the one of the splash bros. You see what I'm saying? But then again, you can't get rid of Draymond because Curry plays better when Draymond is on the court. That's an actual fact, you know what I'm saying? When Draymond plays, Curry plays better. Not saying, you know what I'm saying, he depends on, Curry depends on Dre and whatnot, but I ain't gonna lie, Curry does, I mean, uh, Draymond does get Curry open a lot, you know what I'm saying, with the illegal screens he be sending his shit. Hey, man, shh, pull, bro, you look like, you know what I'm saying? With a boy. new full max contract. I don't want to pull up. No, dude, no. It's not going to happen. This was a I can great bounce back uh, regular season after tearing his ACL and his Achilles. But Clay would be delusional to demand that. He won't get big money anywhere else. So I also expect Clay to return on a pay cut. But a gigantic rumor just dropped about Jonathan Kaminga. When Andrew Wiggins was out to close the regular season, J.K. stepped up, dropped about 13 points a game in 24 mm, minutes. He's facts. become a good slasher and defender, but still wasn't ready for the playoffs. It's just too hard to play Kaminga with Draymond and Looney, who also don't shoot. So yeah, that's Steve a fact. Kerr that's cut a fact. his minutes when Wiggins came back, then straight up benched him outside of garbage time for Gary Payton. A report says Kaminga was pissed. He is going I would to be meet too. with Golden State this offseason and demand a full-time role or he wants a trade. At 20 years old, he would have nah, serious bro. value to other teams. But the pro nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Role players actually requesting a trade is crazy, bro. Like, bro, do these niggas not know they're fucking replaceable? Like, what the fuck? Yo, who, who is you, nigga? Niggas are talking like they fucking Bron, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, niggas talking about, like, they KD or some shit. Like, bro, all right, go. Like, it's a new, you know what I'm saying? A new age of basketball, look like, bro. Because, hey, no. I don't think, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? 
like the 2000s they was doing this bro like you know what i'm saying early problem is his contract Kamingo only makes like six million dollars that's what i'm saying it's like year, it's like it's like saying uh len stevenson bro ask for a trade Nigga, get your bitch ass all oh, you see what i'm saying like what the fuck for their big price tag so they have to trade Kamingo with a high price player that is the solution to trading Jordan Poole. He got paid a high price, big price tag. So they have to trade Kamingo with a high price player. That is the solution to trading oh. Jordan Poole. He got paid last hey, summer. Hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie, bro. We give you, we get, we gonna. Damn. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Let me know, like, who y'all think the Lakers should trade? I'm not gonna lie. I do want JP in the Lakers. I want to uh, JP uh, Lakers jersey, bro. His worst Let's shooting go. season since JP. his rookie year was terrible on defense. In the playoffs, dude scored zero points game four against the Lakers. In game one, he got the ball with 10 seconds left. And instead of hey, bro, running get off my play, mess. just heaved up an awful shot to lose the game. I mean, look at Steph's reaction after that shot. He's like, this guy. It actually reminds you of when Poole made Steph so mad this year he got ejected. 12 seconds left on the clock. Poole takes another dumb long shot. Steph is so mad, he turns around and throws his mouthpiece. Great job, Jordan. It's almost like Steph wanted to punch Jordan Poole. Like, <laughs> I feel bad for Jordan getting that hit by Draymond. I don't. He did act like a pro to the media afterward, but it was clear. They never really made up. There were moments this season, like when Dre tried to hug Jordan during timeouts, Poole just I would him be off. too, bro. So, like, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Think about it, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, you get punched, my nigga, by one of your teammates, and you're supposed to be cool with that, bro? I don't know, bro. Like, it's like, there's no getting past that, bro. You know what I'm saying? We really going to have to, like, yo, get the gloves, you know what I'm saying? Like, no cameras, none of that, bro. We're going to have to really box this shit out, bro. After that, I don't know how I'm going to feel after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, depend. I don't know, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Your family. Nigga, niggas got... Nigga, yo, image, you know what I'm saying? A bitches, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The, maybe he has a daughter or, like, a son, bro, that's seen the video, bro. Like, imagine, bro. You, like, your son, nigga, watching you get knocked the fuck out, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Shit, bro. Pool, I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Couldn't be me, my boy. I ain't gonna lie. I feel sorry for you, gang. Cause shit, I would've. When Dre tried to hug Jordan during timeouts, Pool just off pushed me too. him off. So trading Jordan Poole is the number one option for the Warriors right now. His deal kicks in and they're selling at a low point, but it's the only way to improve. And the only way to Which get team I think uh, JP should go to? Catching pool with Kaminga and picks. I think the dream scenario would be the Nets get Jordan Poole, Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, and three first round Ooh, picks. They can Mikhail only trade the 2023 pick on draft night. For Mikal Bridges and Dorian Finney-Smith. Oh. You know how I know this is a good trade? Because Warrior fans probably hate it. I actually got inspiration for this trade from a Warrior fan. What? Named Adam and probably hate it. Yo, y'all you know? would hate this trade? Yo, Warrior fans, what y'all think about this? Y'all would actually hate... Bro, I'm not going... Like, I actually think this would be a perfect fit with uh, Curry. You know what I'm saying? These two could play, bro. They got nice fucking defense. This nigga, be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. He got that corner specialist on lock, bro. When he open, bro, every time I see bro play, that shit is cash. And Mikhail Bridges, bro... He might have to go back to playing his role when he was on the Suns, but, but bro, if Clay is not stepping up and, you know what I'm saying, he's still on the team next year, he could be that second player for Curry, you know what I'm saying, that could carry the offensive load. So, I don't know what, you know what I'm saying, Warrior fans tripping about, bro. If they want to trade, if this trade was to happen, bro, y'all would win, like, you know what I'm saying? After, bro, after what we've seen from Mikhail Bridges, bro, this nigga, bro, is a fucking superstar, bro. Like, no funny shit, like, what the fuck? You, bro, you see how he was playing the end of, you know what I'm saying, after he got traded? That, that boy was balling the fuck out. Bro, I, and, bro, he definitely gonna give you way more than Clay. So, I feel like he, he that ass could be that best second option. And Clay, you know what I'm saying, could have his little go crazy game. You know you know what I mean, how Clay. You know how I know out. this is a good but, trade? Because Warrior fans probably hate what? it. I actually got inspiration for this trade from a Warrior fan named Adam. And I guarantee he hates it.
Yes, you get rid of Moses Moody. Who this nigga's trash playoffs, anyway. But that's the point. Fuck no, that nigga's trash. Mikel Bridges in DFS for scrubs. Think about it. Jordan just had an awful season. Kaminga barely played. You think See, the Nets the only, are going to give up a potential? I feel like the only L y'all going to take is JP and, you know what I'm saying, Kaminga. Like, J, bro, JB going to ball out regardless, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, he just had a bad postseason. That's all, you know what I'm saying, bro? Every great has to happen here, you know what I mean? He going to bounce back trust, bro. But Kaminga, though, I'm not going to lie. Y'all got, you guys had a bucket right there. Come bucket. Special star and nice. a really good defender for that? No, you also have to give up Moody to get a really good player. And bro, the picks Moody are is part trash. of this, too. Because the Nets need them. Am I missing something, bro? Like, Moody is trash, bro. Young players anyway. The Dubs blew their two timeline plan by picking James Wiseman and Kaminga over Franz Wagner. Yeah, that was a mistake too. Now it is time to what the pay fuck is that nigga? If I know he's he on the Magic dynasty. Center. Oh, and they also have to pay GM Bob Myers too because he feels disrespected as the seventh or eighth highest paid executive. I mean, dude has led a dynasty for 12 years. He is gone without a pay raise. Oh, and if you're going to ask Clay Thompson and Draymond Green to take a pay cut, sounds a lot better coming from Bob Myers than some random replacement. But another chaotic offseason this year is the Phoenix Suns. In a few months, oh. they could be trading Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton, and I lay out exactly how that happens right here. Actually, I'm going to react to this right after, too. I'm not going to lie. That sounds like a nice little video, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, if you guys, you know what I'm saying, enjoy the reaction. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, man. Also, man, your boy birthday coming up, so you're going to do me a favor, man. Get this, you know what I'm saying? Get, get your boy to 600 subs, man, quick, as quick as possible. Uh, comment with y'all me to react to next, just like that. What's your thoughts on the video, man? Y'all think, you know what I'm saying, Jordan Poole should get traded? Y'all think Clay should get traded? Y'all think Jemma should get traded? Or y'all think, you know what I'm saying... They should keep the same lineup, that's, you know what I'm saying, that same lineup, but just, you know what I'm saying, get a better supporting cast, you know what I mean? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Hey, just like that, it's your boy CEO, man, CEO Nation. Your boy is out, man.